Greetings and welcome. I'm Nathan Newbro, CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, joined by our music director, Joseph Caballé Domenic. We're here at the Mining Exchange Hotel in downtown Colorado Springs. They are the uh, official hotel of the Philharmonic, and we're thrilled to be here. Today we're talking about Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto, a concerto that I, I, I think probably everyone has heard. This is w one of the most famous works for piano. Probably it's the most famous piano concerto, or the, yeah. the one that everyone is dying to listen again and again and again and <laughs> again. You know. Tell us about the composer, though. Tell us about Sergei Rachmaninoff. You know, it's interesting. I mean, Rachmaninoff was one of the most important personalities of the end of 19th, 20th century, mm -hmm. I think. And, you know, he was himself an uh, accomplished piano player, so one of the solists that traveled all the world just playing his own pieces and playing other pieces. And I think there, here it's where it comes his problem as a composer, mm. I think, that he was widely regarded as one of the best piano players of that time, never taken very in consideration or never taken really into consideration as a composer. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's an interesting feeling when you want to show that you can do something right and people tell you, that's okay, you know, but no, just nothing play special, the you know, yeah. just play it, you know, play it. whatever you compose will be great, come and play, you know, and he, he tried to, to show that. It's interesting that this second concerto is actually a reaction of a failure. Mm -hmm. So he, he composed a couple of years before the first symphony, uh, just trying to show that he was a symphonic composer and, and it was... It was received as a disaster, basically. Yeah. You know, nobody liked it and say that's nice tunes, nice ideas, but no structure, no, no, no. You don't know how to compose a symphony. And he was so depressed uh, that you know, a couple of years later, then this concerto came into into the paper. And it's amazing how how you can feel that he, even if, if the piano melody or it, you know, it's it's difficult and it's nice. How how elaborate is the orchestration? How elaborate is the the orchestral writing of it? You know? yeah. And talk to we know that the, the pianist works hard in this piece. We know that she will. Everyone works every, hard in this piece. Tell us about the work of the orchestra in this piece. Tell us what the orchestra is up to in this piece. The orchestra is a partner to him, yeah. basically. Yeah. But as I said, in a, a symphonic partner. You know, it has its own ideas. It has in odd, or its own counterpoints. Uh, it's rhythmic, difficult. You know, it's it's hundred percent of uh, language. Yeah. So you hear the, the percussion playing in the way that they usually do with Rachmaninoff's are always very subtle, but, but they are there. And it's very, I would say it's, it's, it's a difficult piece for everyone. And even for the conductor to follow, it's, it's not an easy piece to follow, you know. Right. It's like the connection, soloist, conductor, orchestra has to be very, very perfect. If not, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for bringing it here to Colorado Springs. <laughs> we're, we, we're, we can't wait to hear it on the Pikes Peak Center stage. Again, I'm Nathan Nubro, CEO of the Philharmonic, joined by Joseph Caballé Domenic, our music director at the Mining Exchange Hotel. Thanks for joining us. If you want to know more about the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, join us on our website, csphilharmonic.org. See you there.